Hello everyone, I am Jos Velasco and I am really happy to be here and share this English version of my talk that I was able to, to give at the WordPress Welcome San Jose at Costa Rica. And the name of the talk is how to build your professional career using the WordPress site editor. So I am a WordPress consultant at DreamHost. And I focus on trying to solve complex uh, cases uh, to support or to help the support team on the company that I work. And I have been able to solve some of the complex problems because I used to be a web developer for more than 14 years using WordPress. So you can find my wordpress.org profile. You can have it there and more info at my website. And I wanted to include also my Mastodon page because I really care a lot about open source lately. So to start with the talk, I want to introduce to you my wife. She is a Dross woman and WordPress volunteer out of my obligation. <laughs> she was able to present some of the speakers of the WordCamp San Jose. And she has had a website for a long time. And there you can find her drawings. And I will say that she is an average WordPress user. She is the one climbing on the photo. And that is something amazing because we can contribute in several ways to WordPress. And the WordPress photo directory is one of them. We could say that she does not build her professional career with the WordPress site editor because she is not interested. And that's okay. You know, not everyone has to build his or her professional career with WordPress and in a more profound way with the site editor. So I can, or I want to introduce you Andy Fragen. If you don't know him, he is a trauma and critical care surgeon. And as a hobby, <laughs> he updates and installs. No, he's in charge of the update install component. He's a, he's a maintainer of that component. Uh, he's pushing new cool stuff like the auto update component, auto update rollback. And well, I thought that this image will be very fun to illustrate. And Toffer, this photo is by Toffer. He has this amazing website that is Hero Press, in which you can find the more interesting people that build their careers using WordPress. And we could say that Andy does not build his professional career with the WordPress site editor because he already does too much for, for the world. <laughs> okay, so my sister-in-law learned to set up discussion forums because there was no community in Spanish for her favorite group, Tattoo. And some time later, she, she also build up this forum, or I would say like configured. I think that she used PHP BB at that time or something open source uh, for her favorite series, the L word. And she began this journey as a web developer, as a hobby. She is not there, but I thought that that photo is really fun by Nilo 
Velez, that he also contributes a lot to WordPress taking photos of the WordCamps. And this massive uh, group or family photos sometimes are from him for the Europe or Spain mainly. And then later, my sister-in-law, from a very young age, fell into the clutches of WordPress, helping my father-in-law with an online store that was built with WooCommerce. So that hobby started to transform into something more professional. And I would recommend you, if you want to take the path of a web developer, to really, really focus on what do you want? If you want to keep your friends and your family happy, you must <laughs> put very clear what you are going to do. Like maybe the, those are going to be your first customers, but try to take make them like not too seriously because I mean, avoid problems at all costs. And that photo is because my father-in-law loves planes. And now uh, she works at a research agency whose projects often require a website to publish their results. So we could say that she doesn't code. She's not too technical. She really likes to find out things and search things she's really good and she is a developer because she at the end of the day um, gives their customers in this case the company that she works for a solid results with wordpress so that hobby became her job and that's why i chose that image that with wordpress you can lift heavy stuff, right? And we could say that she builds her professional career with, but without the WordPress site editor because she uses commercial builders. And why is that? That was because she wasn't aware of the native WordPress edit editor. So that's one kind of a problem. You know, because sometimes when you start using WordPress and you have all your tool sets, you are okay just by repeat, repeating, you know, the same steps. And that a lot of the time will work for you, but not so much for the community. Because if you only take from the community and don't give back, then the role of the, for example, the editor is going to be a, a little bit slower. Okay, so WordPress meetups and WordCamps became virtual during the pandemic. And new platforms such as, or tools such as live streaming had to be learned. And that's where the community is like really important to share knowledge. And in this picture, we can see a um, garden from Spain. And I mentioned Spain because they were like the first ones to start using a streaming platform to distribute the WordCamps. And there were people like Frank Calderon. He is a um, full stack developer from Guatemala that he really enjoys making friends at the WordCamps. So I believe that he reached these Spain people, people from Spain, and learned how to use that tool. And from there, he helped with the Mexico uh, WordCamp that was virtual, and that's, Part of that was because he's really interested in also in audiovisual production because he has a company that does that. So that's 
one of a kind of a work hobby, I will say, like he because he started learning so much. Mm. Uh, not only producing videos, but also streaming them. And he told me that he has been reinvesting with those. The you know, at the pandemic, he used to do a lot of uh, social events. Uh, but he keeps doing streaming stuff, like in the case of the San Jose work camp, he helped with that uh, re-recording the talks. And for me, that's very special thing to do because in the case of this work camp, there were like several talks like at the same time. And it was a really smart move for the organizers to pre-record them, the talks, and then focus on the actual day on other things like and that gave them the organizing team and the speakers time to do like a rehearsal and in that photo that I was taking in a coffee of guatemala we have like it was by rita robles the main organizer of the work camp san jose you could say that Frank kills his professional career without the WordPress site editor, but he already develops custom blogs like uh, with his job. He's like like this close to use the full site editing and all the things that the site editor brings, but uh, still they want to have like more, you know, control. So the next person that I want you to meet is C. C is a co-representative of the WordPress marketing team. She creates websites uh, for a long time now and is a, a small business consultant. And that's why I chose that mm, image. <laughs> She's like always moving and I will describe her with one word, which is community. And she really cares about the WordPress community and what people, how can they really contribute? And how can we, as a community, make sure that our job is recognized and the direction of WordPress uh, is like very, very important for her. So I recommend you following her job. She builds her professional career sometimes with the WordPress site editor, because as the previous uh, people that I presented to you, she used uh, another tools to build and for the small um, websites, she is now using the WordPress site editor. Uh, but one thing that I really like about C is that she is involved on projects that give back to the community that they, they belong. Like for example, he, she has participated like in the creation of art directories. So she like works for government, but also has like a direct impact in people and people sometimes uh, thank her. So because there are these small like, you know, uh, professionals that receive help with this kind of projects that she's involved into. And then I mentioned her before, Rita Robles, like the main organizer of the WordPress San Jose, um, WordCamp San, San Jose. But she works uh, also for a housing company that uh, uses this commercial uh, WordPress um, builder. And that's not bad because she is like streamlined her process of making these websites or small websites available like real fast. 
And we could say that she builds her professional career without the WordPress site editor, but for the WordCamp San Jose website, she builds her professional career with the WordPress site editor because she has no choice. <laughs> the thing is that the, all the WordCamp websites are built with the site editor. <laughs> So in this case, uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad. I think it's it's a good thing to make people at least know a little bit of what's going on. <laughs> and then I want you to meet Pal. Pal likes to give feedback. Like that's one of the persons that is always trying to test new products and really enjoys like talking about how to improve them. And he is part of the WordPress site editor testing program. And the official name was something like call for testing, um, something like that. And it's like the only person that participated in the 24 editions of these calls for testing. And that's really cool to have, like he told me, that the feedback that he gave sometimes was applied and it was like a, a better use of his time like not to code he's a web developer also but to test things out and these uh, testing programs are really interesting because um, they give you a list of tasks to test and to follow. And then you gather this information, this feedback, and try to solve the puzzle. And that's why I chose that image. And I believe that this is community work that can also sometimes give you like some projects. Like in this case, Paul is an actor. So, one of the things that he mentions whenever he's in acting in the set is that he also makes websites. And that's like really interesting, at least for me. So he also organizes part of the, like these um, meetings in Slack in the core editor channel. But I recently saw that those are maybe going to be closed, like since the conversations are mostly now on the tickets. But there are some different kind of events that are really important to have and that people like him are kind of pushing, like remembering us that this is like a constant work to be done. And who helps Paul? Uh, people like Anne McCarthy. And is the for me is the bridge between many people in the WordPress community. She creates uh, tickets from the feedback that she receives. Therefore, she builds the builder. She builds the site editor. And I think I didn't mention, but uh, in the case of Paul, I believe that he. I mean. We could say that he partially like constructs like his professional career using the site editor because some of the projects that he has inherited are were made in, in some other you know uh, builders. But um, the, he also has uh, remake some of the websites all using only the side editor though. So I will say that he builds his professional career with the side editor. And obviously, Anne McCarthy does that as well. And Carolina, uh, she develops themes for the WordPress core and is very heavily involved in the development of the WordPress site editor. So not only by creating websites or testing the editor, but also 
suggesting and making patches. Um, a lot of accessibility issues, CSS. Um, that's a picture that you can find in the WordPress photo directory from where she is. I don't know how far, but yeah. <laughs> So we could say that in the case of Carolina, she builds her professional career with the site WordPress editor. So that would be it. that would be it for me. Thank you so much, Ural Vida, and I hope you enjoy this um, little journey. And I'm here to answer all your questions, and maybe if you want to talk about more people that are involved with the site editor. Of course, there are a lot or, or many more people we can do so. So you can fo follow me there. And yeah, I myself, I really enjoy using the site editor. And I really like a little bit of everything that we saw, like testing, making websites, not a lot of code, but um, performance stuff really excites me. And I'm really happy to share with you. Thank you. <laughs>